El Salvador is a small Central American country totally devoid of fossil fuels. For decades, the pioneering Salvadorians have been using the heat of the earth to produce renewable geothermal energy to power their nation. Now, as the economy shifts into high gear in this densely populated country, scientists and engineers are under pressure to produce more and more energy. They are on a mission to tap the vast reserves of geothermal power that lie buried around the country's network of volcanoes. To support El Salvador in its pursuit of green energy, the United Nations University Geothermal Training Program in Iceland has trained generations of energy experts, providing them with cutting-edge geothermal knowledge and skills. Three graduates of this innovative program are leading the quest to find solutions to their country's energy needs. Will they be able to keep the lights on in El Salvador by using the heat of the earth? In western El Salvador, the geothermal power plant of Agua Chapan is one of the first of its kind in the world and has been producing renewable energy for more than 35 years. Using superheated steam from deep under the Earth's surface, the power plant produces enough electricity to power more than 300,000 homes. Even during the brutal civil war in the 1980s, when major infrastructure was destroyed and energy production was disrupted in most of the country, this power plant continued to produce energy, accounting at times for up to 40% of the electricity generated in El Salvador. Being so important for the country, the plant must be kept in good working condition. As a maintenance engineer, Gorofredo Lopez is in charge of keeping the plant running. In El Salvador, la geotermia is a generation base for the cost of production. Today, a sudden emergency threatens to paralyze the plant. The power plant is reporting a malfunction and the engineers are checking all electrical and mechanical systems to find the problem. Esas paradas no programadas son las que son las que resultan caras para la empresa, así como también eh, reducen la disponibilidad de máquinas. If they cannot fix the problem quickly, they will have to stop producing electricity. To continue to meet electricity demands, a diesel plant somewhere else in the country will have to compensate with increased production that relies on burning expensive and polluting fossil fuels. Para nosotros es bien importante mantener esos tiempos de, manteni de mantenimiento bien cortos para evitar así que el consumidor final, el pueblo, el país como tal, reciba el impacto de estar pagando la energía más cara. They find a mechanical problem and are quick to get down to fix it. But keeping things running here is not only about the power plant itself. It is also about maintaining a constant flow of the superheated steam that powers the plant. Thermal fluid specialist Edwin Millare analyzes the chemistry of the steam flowing from the geothermal wells and nearby fumaroles to understand what is happening in the underground reservoir as they extract steam for energy production. Entonces, si han dado casos, se sube la concentración de los gases, eso sirve como un indicador al área de, de geoquímica de que algún proceso está siendo alterado debido a la, a la extracción. If they extract steam too quickly, there could be a catastrophic drop in heat and pressure in the reservoir, and multi-million dollar geothermal wells could go out of service, leaving the plant without the steam it needs to produce electricity. La energía geotérmica siempre ha sido catalogada dentro de las energías renovables. Más sin embargo, esa extracción hay ciertos límites, ¿no? Para ella y es lo que nosotros evaluamos mediante el monitoreo químico. Si esa extracción permite ser sostenible la explotación del recurso. Estimates project that the Agua Chapan and Berlin geothermal fields will ensure between 25 to 30 additional years of production. They take the samples to the lab for analysis. 
It is one of the most advanced geothermal energy labs in Latin America. Just like Edwin analyzes the chemistry of the thermal fluids, other scientists analyze rocks and minerals contained in the core samples they obtain while drilling. Based on the findings from Edwin and his team, important decisions are made about exploring new reservoirs, drilling expensive new wells, and regulating the extraction of steam. Estamos produciendo energía que mueve un país y a la vez no lo estamos contaminando, ¿no? Entonces, eso te hace te llena, no te satisface ser parte de ella. And that this is really what has been one of the positive aspects of the last few uh, short courses is that South America has come in in a greater and greater number. Both Godofredo and Edwin developed their geothermal energy expertise at the UN University Geothermal Training Program in Iceland. Pues la experiencia fue buenísima en todo ámbito, ¿no? Desde el ámbito profesional porque me permitió entender más aún lo que ya comprendí sobre la generación de energía geotérmica, porque el curso está diseñado para que tú te conozcas desde el muestreo, desde los análisis que se hacen, la interpretación de ellos, la posterior evaluación como un reservorista. Entonces fue para mí gratificante en la parte técnica, en la parte personal también, por lo mismo de poder compartir con personas de diferentes países, ¿no? conocer gente de, de Kenia, de Tanzania, de Turquía, de China. ¿no? Entonces interaccionar con ellos y conocer sus experiencias que también tienen sobre la explotación del recurso geotérmico fue bastante beneficioso para mi crecimiento personal y profesional. 36 geothermal professionals from El Salvador have been trained in Iceland under this innovative training program, covering the whole range of specialties needed to discover and develop geothermal resources. Sí me parece que es un curso que genera mucho beneficio a todos los que tenemos la dicha de participar en él y espero que continúe existiendo esa oportunidad para que otra gente pueda, pueda disfrutar de él y aprender un poco. Ludwig Georgson, the program's director, has traveled the world finding engineers and scientists that are promising future leaders of the geothermal energy sector in their countries. You don't really learn about geothermal in the universities. In geothermal, there are so many different sciences and, and, and engineering that come together and they're all necessary for the development of the geothermal resource and the building of the, of the power plants. This capacity building initiative of the United Nations University runs yearly courses in El Salvador, bringing together engineers and scientists from all over Latin America and the Caribbean. Some of these countries have vast geothermal resources, but do not yet have an industry nor trained professionals to develop it. That's why capacity building for geothermal, especially, is so important. With this short course, we want to assist in in making geothermal stronger here in this region and bring together the people from the different countries because this is one of the important regions in the development of, of geothermal energy. Bringing people together with different backgrounds which all are needed for developing geothermal resources. The course takes students on a field trip to the eastern part of El Salvador, where they get to see the latest developments in the industry. They explore active geothermal wells and the recently built Berlin Geothermal Power Plant, which incorporates newer technology, including an innovative system that can use lower temperature steam so that no resources are wasted. In total, the plant has a capacity to generate 109 megawatts. Geologist Arturo Quesada also participated in the United Nations University Geothermal Training Program in Iceland, and now he is sharing his knowledge with Latin American colleagues. El Salvador eh, se caracteriza por ten, ser eminent, eminentemente volcánico, el 90% de las rocas acá son de origen volcánico, 
y eh, así como tenemos ya dos campos eh, en explotación, pues también tenemos otros lugares, otras áreas siempre asociadas a volcanes, donde hay potencial para tener un mayor desarrollo geotérmico. The field trip motivates the students to promote geothermal energy in their own countries. Generamos el 25% de la energía que se demanda, ese es un porcentaje relativamente alto a base de geotermia y esperaríamos pues que en, en un futuro cercano pues podamos estar generando un porcentaje más alto para depender menos pues de otros tipos de energías como son por ejemplo la energía térmica que pues se necesitan derivados de petróleo que no tenemos en nuestro país. En cambio, la geotermia pues es un recurso propio nuestro, verdad, que está en el subsuelo de nuestro país. Many countries in Latin America have vast geothermal resources. We need more Latin American geothermal scientists and engineers like Arturo, Edwin and Godofredo with the skills and knowledge to take advantage of this energy.